Welcome to MRI Hardware Review. There are 70 questions and answers in the flashcard format. The information is credited to Merquiz.com, which is highly recommended for anyone who is studying for the MRI board exam. Let's begin. List the order of the coil locations from the inner point closest to the patient to the outermost edge. The radio frequency coils are closest to the patient, then gradient coils, then shim coils, and furthest is the main magnet. What is defined as the strength of the gradient? Gradient amplitude is defined as the strength of the gradient. The time it takes for the gradient to reach its full amplitude is defined as what? That is, the gradient rise time. What is the unit measurement of gradient rise time? Gradient rise time is measured in millitesla per meter, or a gauss per centimeter. Note that, equally synonymous as the units of gradient strength measurement 10 millitesla per meter equals 2, 1 gauss per centimeter. Identify the labels in this image. A, is the gradient amplitude. B, is the rise time. C, is the fall time. The speed rate of ascent, or descent of a gradient from zero to its maximum amplitude, either positive, or negative is defined as, 1. It's defined as, gradient slew rate, which is measured in, millitesla per meter, per millisecond, or, tesla per meter, per second. Note that, the strength of the gradient over a specific distance, is another way to define the slew rate. Gradients with a shorter echo spacing will have, better, or, worse, resolution capabilities, and, more, or less, available slices per TR period? Gradients with a shorter echo spacing will have, better, resolution capabilities, and more available slices per TR period. 1 Tesla per meter equals how much Gauss per centimeter? 1 Tesla per meter equals 100, Gauss per centimeter. The time the gradients are on during a TR period, the gradient working time, is defined as what? It is defined as, duty cycle. List the parameter changes affecting the pulse duty cycle. The parameter changes are 1. Increased number of slices 2. Employment of fat suppression pulses, spare requires increased TR compared to spear 3. Utilization of pre-saturation slabs slash bands and 4. Increased echo train length The rapid Successive switching of the what coils, is the primary cause of the noise in the MR scan room? The rapid, successive switching of the gradient coils, is the primary cause of the noise in the MR scan room. If a what slice plane has been selected, the X gradient is enabled to alter the magnetic field around the patient's body? It's a sagittal slice plane. If a what slice plane has been selected, the Y gradient is enabled to alter the magnetic field around the patient's body? The Y gradient is the coronal slice plane. If a what slice plane has been selected, the Z gradient is enabled to alter the magnetic field around the patient's body in a patient lying supine in the bore of the magnet. Transverse or axial slice plane is for the Z gradient. Remember, sagittal, X gradient. Coronal, Y gradient. Transverse or axial, Z gradient. Applying two gradients simultaneously during slice selection would produce what type of slice? It would produce an oblique slice. Oblique slice is the employment of a, y x, gradient combination, in a coronal oblique of the shoulder, parallel to the supraspinatus tendon. In a cross-sectional view of MRI system coils, what coils are closest to the patient? Radio frequency coils are closest to the patient. Look at the picture below. The 180 degrees RF pulse is four times the power of the initial 90 degrees RF pulse. RF heating is more of a concern in what type of sequences due to the multiple echo train lengths, leading to potential increases in tissue heating? Fast spin echo should be the concern. What coils are two major parts of the radio frequency system in the magnetic resonance imaging hardware? Radio frequency coils are two major parts of the radio frequency system. What does SAR stand for? 
SAR stands for Specific Absorption Rate, which is the measurement of radio frequency absorption, measured in watts per kilogram. If doubling the field strength, how does that affect the SAR? Doubling field strength results in a fourfold increase in SAR potential. SAR is proportional to the power of 2 for the resonant frequency. The primary biological effect of radio frequency fields is what? The primary biological effect of radio frequency fields is tissue heating. Larger patient equals increase or decrease in SAR. Larger patient equals increased SAR. What body part exams use high SAR? High SAR, or increased fast spin echo, usage in spine, long bone extremity work, pelvis, and any combination of these procedures. Because of that, be mindful of sheet and blanket use when scanning patients. The heat must have a way to escape, as SAR and body temperature correlate to the amount of thermal induction. What temperature and humidity levels are recommended for the MRI scan room? Consistent room temperature of 65 to 75 degrees Fahrenheit, a humidity level of 50 to 70 percent, and sufficient airflow in the MRI scan room, are recommended to make patients less vulnerable to the RF heating effects. Avoid short or long TR as this has a negative impact on the pulse duty cycle. Shortest TR should be avoided. Instead, increase DR to manageable level. Decreasing SAR effect on patient, minimize the use of what pulses, in addition to using the least number of slices within a given TR period. Minimize the use of pre-saturation slabs, also known as fat suppression pulses. Utilize the shortest or longest ETL possible while enabling flip angle modulation techniques, where applicable. Utilize the shortest ETL possible. What kind of imaging techniques to reduce the workload of the phase encoding gradient? Parallel imaging techniques Consider transmit or receive coil, yielding the lowest allowable SAR levels. What is the drawback? The drawback is, significantly increase the scan time. If longer and lower amplitude transmit RF pulses, base behind low SAR sequences, are used. What is the drawback? The drawbacks are, longer minimum TE, and, requiring a longer TR value, leads to increased scan time. Low SAR opposite to vendor built fast scan options. A coil that is not properly tuned to the correct magnetic field strength will result in what? It will result in signal loss. For energy to be efficiently transferred between a transmitter and receiver, the two must be at the higher, same, or lower frequency? The two transmitter and receiver must be at the same frequency. What is another term for linear coils? Linear coils are surface coils. What is another name for CP coil? Circularly polarized, CP. Transmission or receiver coil with two orthogonal transmission, and, or, receiver channels, also known as a quadrature coil. This yields better signal to noise than a linear coil. When going from a linear coil to a quadrature coil, SNR is increased by what percentage? SNR is increased by 40%. A what type of coil is comprised of multiple coil elements combined with multiple receiver channels? Phased array coil. The local RF coil used to image a human brain is typically located or kept in the magnet room, or control room. The local RF coil is typically located or kept in the magnet room. Permanent magnets with a vertical magnetic field use surface coils that are blank, because the secondary magnetic field, B1, created by the RF coil must be perpendicular to the orientation of B0. Permanent magnets with a vertical magnetic field use surface coils that are solenoids. Patients' images and CPU are located where? Scan room or control room. The patients' images and CPU are located in the control room. The array processor and RF power amplifier are responsible for reconstructing the collected MR images, data, 
using the Fourier transform, and are located where? The array processor and RF power amplifier are located in the MRI equipment room. Radio frequency, RF, shielding can be achieved by lining the scanner room walls with copper, lead, gold, or steel. Radio frequency shielding can be achieved by lining the scanner room walls with copper. Magnetic field and homogeneity is expressed in what? Parts per million, ppm. Passive shielding can be accomplished by lining the MR room with what, or other ferromagnetic plating, thus reducing the scope and distance of the fringe field. With steel or other ferromagnetic plating. Active shielding requires the implementation of what windings within the construction of the MR scanner to oppose a portion of the magnetic field. Active shielding requires the implementation of superconducting. Field strength at magnet ISO center is measured in units of Tesla, Watts, or Gauss, the SI derived unit of magnetic field measurement. ISO center is measured in Tesla. High field scanners typically have field strengths greater than or equal to how many Tesla? High field is greater than or equal to 1.5 Tesla. Doubling the magnetic field strength will double, quadruple, or half of the signal to noise ratio doubling the magnetic field strength will double the SNR don't mistaken with the SAR which is double field strength will quadruple SAR the unit of measurement of the magnetic field surrounding the periphery of the MR scanner fringe field is expressed as tesla gauss or watts periphery is expressed as gauss the intensity limit for a static magnetic field in clinical use is limited by the Food and Drug Administration to how many Tesla field strength for all patients, but what Tesla for all patients over one month of age? 4 Tesla for all patients. 8 Tesla for all patients over one month of age. What type of magnet is the most commonly used system in MR imaging today? Superconducting magnet. The orientation of the main magnetic field in a high field, superconducting, short bore magnet is horizontal, or vertical. A high field, superconducting, or short bore magnet is horizontal. The liquid cryogens are cooled in a superconducting magnet at what temperature? 4 Kelvin. 4 Kelvin is, negative 270 degrees Celsius, or negative 452 degrees Fahrenheit. The liquid cryogens most often used to maintain field strength in a superconducting MR system are helium, hydrogen, or magnesium. The liquid cryogens most often used are, helium. The additional magnetic fields, produced by what? Add to the overall magnetic field of the superconducting magnet in such a way that the total B0 field becomes more homogeneous. Produced by, shimming. During a scan, quench, or cleaning of the MR system, patients and employees should be evacuated from the scan room to avoid asphyxiation, frostbite, and, or damage to tympanic membranes. Quench, quench, quench. A what refers to the sudden loss of superconductivity when its temperature is raised? A quench. List three things that are magnetic fields associated with MR imaging. There are, 1. Static magnetic fields. 2. Oscillating magnetic fields, RF. 3. Time varying magnetic fields, gradient. What has been documented to cause muscle contractions, cardiac arrhythmias, mild cutaneous sensations, and visual light flashes? Magnetophosphines, time varying magnetic fields, gradient, can cause muscle contractions, cardiac arrhythmias, mild cutaneous sensations, and visual light flashes. Magnetophosphines, which sequences below can have more of a detrimental effect on patients with regards to time varying magnetic fields. A spin echo, B epi, echo planar imaging, C fast spin echo, D gradient echo, E parallel imaging. The answer is B. Epi, echo planar imaging. Which coil, body coil, or shim coil, is an integrated part of the magnet design that acts as its own transceiver coil, with large field of view capabilities, but lacking the high SNR of localized coils? 
Body coil. Are we operating the devices or equipment correctly? That is the question of quality assurance or quality control. Are we operating the devices or equipment correctly? That is the question of quality assurance. Quality assurance, QA, utilizes the goal of maintaining a desired level of consistency and image quality requirements within radiology. Quality control, QC, asks the question, is the equipment operating correctly? And QC reflects the set of activities and or techniques used to fulfill the requirements for quality. Fluctuations in the transmitter attenuation levels suggest problems with the what? With the radio frequency chain. The what phantom is used in the transmitter attenuation displayed on the scanner console? ACR MRI phantom. Accurate what measurements ensure appropriate SAR calculations in addition to consistent expected image contrast? Accurate flip angle measurements. The MRI technologist records the value displayed of transmitter gain or attenuation in what column on the data form? Column 5 Repetitive recording of the SNR value taken from identical pulse sequence acquisitions within the same coil ensures adequate what for image quality? Ensures adequate SNR What kind of image contrast is this? This is a high contrast spatial resolution. What about this image? This is a geometric accuracy. Measuring phantom horizontally and vertically ensures accuracy of X and Y gradients. What kind of image is this? Low contrast spatial resolution. 10 detectable spokes. What kind of image contrast is this? Geometric accuracy, top to bottom measurement ensures accuracy of Z gradient. Thank you for watching. More videos to come. Good luck with your exam. Kindly comment, share and subscribe.